Matthew 15, 22. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Counting the verses within this set of scripture, we count seven which by no means is a mistake and is further revelation and confirmation on the seven days of creation within man. As we read about Jesus making the woman's daughter whole and granting the woman's request for healing, we start to realize there's much, much more going on within this set of scripture. The word dog equals 17, and this is but just one layer of revelation for those who are ready to receive it or already know it. And 17 is the first through seventh day of creation within man once again the seven seals of revelation, otherwise known as the seven spirits of God and the seven demons that were casted out of Mary Magdalene. Once we receive the revelation of the seven days of creation, we can't help but notice the seven all around us all the time. Literally, God speaks through everything and we have a seven day week or the seven days of the week, meaning when we are in our flesh or when our flesh has dominion over us, when our carnal mind has dominion over us, when our dog brain, animal mind has dominion over us, we are weak. And it's not until we overcome the flesh brain, dog brain, animal brain, that we become strong. Now, back to the word dog and the woman in Matthew that seems to know of the symbolic language and how carnality is looked at spiritually. And instead of being offended, she recognizes the divinity of Jesus and makes her request with humility and grace while honoring Jesus instead. Now, the way that God has showed up and manifested in my life makes me look at everything different, meaning what the secular world might see as random, coincidence, or just meaningless. I can't help but see the word dog, which is God spelled in reverse by chance. And although they both equal 17 and are the same in math, they represent two polar opposite ends of the spectrum. So like the woman in Matthew, having experienced the divinity and supernatural power of God and the contrast to our natural state, I can't help but to think of the carnal natural mind, the natural man, very similarly and accurately described to a dog. So the word dog and God both equal 17 and we know 17 equals the first through seventh day of creation. Let's now look into some other words that have the same value. The word game equals 17, which by no means is a mishap or a mistake, because as we began to put the pieces to this puzzle together, we quickly realized the first through seventh day of creation as our primary objective, our goal. The next word is bill. Bill equals 17. And I really like this one because I feel it gives us strong confirmation on what is happening here and what is expected of us to overcome the flesh, the carnal mind, and the seven seals. It is what we are expected to pay, what we owe, it is the bill. And the next word is run, run equals 17. And in 1 Corinthians 9.24, the text reads, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And in Hebrews 12, 1, the text reads, let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So we must run our race. Which I've been led to discover and share the revelation of the seven days of revelation or the seven days of ignorance because it seems there's always this dichotomy or duality, the left hand of God versus the right hand of God. Those who are within are given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God versus those without. All things are done in parables. The next word is wait. 
weight equals 17 as into weight weight on God be still because God is our great reward our exceedingly great reward and I don't want to do Christianity without God I don't want a powerless gospel because a powerless gospel can't heal you or change you from within a powerless gospel is religion head knowledge external fellowship and external building and grieving the Holy Spirit the next word is heal heal equals 17 and healing the flesh and mind through discipline through good habits through attending church through encouragement behavioral modification by works being of service are all good things but healing through encountering God is true healing full filled which is the mystery of fulfilled because the full gets filled with the Holy Spirit becomes pure and whole complete Genesis 47 28 and Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years so the whole age of Jacob was an hundred forty and seven years and Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years and we know the land of Egypt is known for slavery so yet again we are led to the revelation of the first through seventh day of creation whether it be the seven fat cows versus the seven lean cows dreamt of Pharaoh or the seven years worked for Leah and the seven years worked for Rachel which yet again brings us right back to the left hand of God versus the right hand of God and when we look deeper into these scriptures and into the details like even within the letters Leah representing the left hand and Rachel representing the right hand or even within the word letter itself which begins with an L and ends with an R begins with the left and ends with the right when we pay attention it's this polarization that we can't help but to keep noticing throughout scripture and throughout the outward world as we always have this up versus down this left versus right within versus without and this is what we find when we search the cross when we ask seek knock up down left right across the cross which is a representation and a symbol of ourselves our mind our soul our bodies and the multitude that is us within us and described all throughout the Bible because we are the Bible the living Bible because we are the revelation in the book of Revelation we are Revelation 10 10 when it states and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and we know 1 plus 7 equals 8 so ate it up again raising the lower energy to the higher energy the lower consciousness to the higher consciousness or the degenerated seven seals to the regenerated seven seals or you may call them the seven vices versus the seven virtues and the last revelation I would like to share with you guys before we close the video is that the number seven upside down is the letter L and I'll leave that to you guys for a while for you guys to to marinate on and really receive it go into prayer go into contemplation it is an amazing revelation thank you for watching